right, we're here in Eden Prairie, Minnesota. We're about to start our bubbling rock package, minus the underwater lights. Should only be about a half a day of build. We're getting here, started about one. We should be done by six at the latest. But check out this beautiful rock. It's got just some pinks hidden in there, some cool fissures. The water's gonna wanna come over it in some really cool ways. This is all you need. You know, we got a nice big size basin, heavy duty, easy to access. So taking the pump in and out every winter is gonna be very easy for the client. So it's gonna look fantastic. All right, Mark's already gotten us trimmed out a little bit because you can see the old waterfall and bubbling rock. See how small that opening is there? Not much water flow can get through that. It's a little overgrown. Uh, we're gonna change this so that the bub bubbling rock is now the feature of the area. So we're gonna trim back some of these plants. Gonna rip out this old one, take out the old gravel. It's just on top of like a five gallon bucket. So it should be a quick pull out. And then we get to come in with our new stuff and really raise it up a bunch and build up that backside so that this feature sits up and is easier to enjoy. Mark's gonna do some trimming for us and uh, Brad's gonna keep hauling the material. Handyman says to me, you seen my trick? Get it on camera. So here it is, Handyman. Uh-oh. It better work. Oh my goodness. That's a handyman to have around right there. <laughs> All right, things are going well. We got the uh, Lowe's bucket they had in there out. That's awesome, it's out. So what they did is they must have drilled some holes in there. Good concept, right? Drilled some holes, cut a spot for the plumbing to come in and out, lift out the power head. But now you can see we're going to heavy duty. Sediment isn't gonna build up. You see all that sediment? It's a big reason why we got called. When that sediment builds up, you think you have a leak, mainly because the water capacity is so dwindled because of how much sediment you have in there that you think it's leaking and you're having to fill it all the time. When in reality, it's just that the whole space has been filled up with sediment. Now, we just cover this with gravel a little bit so you don't see it. And every year, you're gonna be able to clean out the sediment that builds up in the bottom by pumping it out. Real easy access, built to last. That's what we love. We just loaded up the old bubbling rock. So you can see the hole that was drilled for the original one. You know, pinky size, maybe ring size. I don't know what that translates to. But then we go to a two inch hole down to a one inch hole. So if they ever did want to add lights, that's okay. But this allows the water to billow up so it doesn't just shoot straight up. It'll billow so that we can have water going all over. Beautiful rock. I'm glad they chose this one. It's going to look fantastic. Mark, handyman, bush. No, wait. Mark and handyman. Paint King and handyman. Hey, Paint King, what's Yo. up? Your episode's about to air. Check it out. What do you think? Like and subscribe. Yeah. What, what, what's it mainly about? Minnesota Paint King. Yeah, if you haven't watched it yet, winter, by now. Wintertime festivities. Yeah, we're getting ready for winter when this episode airs, probably. You'll probably be booked. It's a good time to call. Hey, make sure to remember, go back to that episode. Watch Mark the Paint King's episode. Look at Handyman, just doesn't hey, stop. Get it, Brad! <laughs> In the background. That's going in place. We got that one that's going to go underneath the tree over there by the bucket. That's going to look great. Got that guy planted, our bubbling rock. We're going to shift that over. Things are going well. We're going to keep going. Mark got the old stuff out. Yeah. And what's really nice is, Mark, you got all the water out with it, so it didn't make, leave any water in the hole, dude. Nice work, sir. All right, Brad's making good progress on the hole. We're almost there to start putting in class five, and then we're gonna compact it. All right, so we like to put a little paver base under there, compact that nicely into the soil. That will prevent any shifting in the future here. Thank you, Brad. what do you say, Mark? What did he say? <laughs> Oh, it must have been God. <laughs> That's gonna look so good. All right. Oh, it's gonna look really good. 
It's gonna start bubbling up there. Mark's getting some more gravel for us to help hide the rest. And then it's gonna grow in and it's gonna look fantastic. It's filling up with water right now. Then we'll rinse it down, turn it on. It'll be cloudy for a little bit, but then it'll clear up probably overnight. All right, we're just wrapping up project number 12. It's looking awesome. You wanna see? Enough of me talking. Let's check it out. Check this out. Sponsored by Pond King Water Gardens. Living works of art, one yard at a time.